Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 2.1, we understand how to manage projects with MS Project 2010. So, we first see an overview of MS Project, see how to create a project schedule, how to track the project, and what are the available tools for analysis and reports? MS Project is a project management software which provides tools for planning, scheduling, monitoring and controlling projects. We can store all information related to the projects like the various tasks, resources for each task, cost, etc. This video tutorial is intended to give an overview of Microsoft Project. We shall be looking into the detailed aspect of each in the subsequent tutorial series. To begin with, a typical project plan looks like this. The different tasks for completing the project are enlisted step by step. These can be grouped into major headings also. Like here, the three-story building is the major project. Once you click on the plus arrow, it shows the next set of details. The next su subheading can be general conditions. Under general conditions, you have the other smaller tasks. Similarly, long lead procurement, mobilize on site, these are all the first set of subheadings. When you click on the plus arrow of each of these, it shows the tasks within. Next, once we make the entire list of tasks, we start defining the duration. The duration for each of the tasks are written by us and MS Project automatically calculates the total task for a single subheading. Then we go to project information and we mention details like the start date. We can also give details like the calendar which we are going to use for MS project. This calendar can be customized depending on our requirements. For example, we can say which are the working days, what are the timings, what are the non-working days? Is there any particular holiday that we want to add during this time? We can mention all these details in the calendar. This customized calendar is then added to the project here. Once we have defined the duration and the start date and the calendar, we can start mentioning the dependencies between each of these tasks. These are shown as predecessors or successors. For example, if you click a task, you see that there is a tab which says predecessors. What this means is that task number 3 has a finish to start relationship. That is, it is only when the previous task is finished that this task can start. Relations are typically defined as start to start, start to finish, finish to start and finish to finish. We can also add lead or lag times to define the relationship. Thus all the tasks become linked to one another in a network depending on some constraints. MS Project calculates the start and finish dates automatically for all the tasks based on the calendar, considering working or non-working days, the duration of each task, relation between tasks, etc. It is not necessary to always schedule based on start date. 
we can do it based on any fixed parameter for individual task or entire project for example we can define the finish date if we know that this is the date at which the project has to finish or if the durations for tasks are fixed we can work backward that way also next we can add resources to individual tasks if you click on a task you can see that there is a tab for resources in this we can list all the resources which are required to complete that particular task we can also set resource calendar for resources and also add cost for the various resources which get added up for an individual task you can also add milestones for task as reference points for monitoring progress other specific details which can be used for scheduling are deadlines constraints etc once this schedule is made we begin tracking progress a baseline is set in terms of time cost etc and in the gan chart here which can be accessed from view or in the tracking gant we can see the progress against the baseline in terms of percentage complete or hours of work ms project also facilitates the making of different kinds of analysis and reports there are visual reports and there are text based reports analysis can be like earned value analysis there are customized reports which are usually compatible with excel or visio so to summarize we have seen an overview of ms project seen how to create a project schedule track a project schedule and about the analysis and reports which are generated by ms project this presentation material is available on group.net thank you for joining us on this tutorial the next series of tutorials will cover each aspect of project scheduling monitoring and management through ms project 2010 in details in the next part of the video tutorial series at group.net we will look at how to start ms project 2010